Hello. The compound where Osama bin Laden was tracked to and killed was in the Pakistani town of Abbottabad, a garrison town 100 kilometres from the capital of Islamabad. Our correspondent Farhan Bakari is there now. Farhan, um, you visited the compound just, just earlier today. What can you tell us about the place? Well, this is a huge, big, spacious compound. It's a three-story building within the compound. And it's slightly removed from the rest of the homes in this location. The closest homes to this compound are about 200 yards away or so. Um, and so it's, in a sense, it was probably custom-made uh, to remain aloof or detached from uh, the rest of the people who live in this neighborhood, not, not necessarily only for Osama bin Laden. We have no idea about the history of this compound, exactly who lived here before Osama bin Laden. And do we, know, do we have any idea about when it was built or who, who built it? There are no uh, records available from the municipal uh, department, but it seems, looking at the construction, it seems the building which was built maybe 20 to 25 years ago, just looking at the architecture, it's not who built it. Uh, as far as the present ownership is concerned, that is also something which uh, uh, remains a matter of dispute. We simply do not know who exactly owns this house. Local officials in Abbottabad have told me that a certain Afghan national by the name of Mr. Arshad Khan uh, occupied this house when Osama bin Laden was killed. At least uh, that's what they believe, but they haven't been able to confirm whether he was the owner of this house or a tenant. And it's not also not clear exactly what happened to Mr. Arshad Khan whether he's among the, among the people who were killed with uh, Osama bin Laden or taken into custody, we simply do not know. So what has the local reaction been to the raid? Across Pakistan, people are uh, fairly stunned. Uh, this is a country where a number of people sympathize with causes taken up by like Osama bin Laden, the Taliban, and other similar people who have taken up uh, uh, militant causes. So. In this country, unlike uh, the United States, for example, where there has been widespread jubilation, in Pakistan, large parts of Pakistan, including Abbottabad, certainly, uh, the mood generally seems to be uh, more on the somber side. And what's been the reaction of neighbours? A, a surprise to find out who's been living down the road from them? And I spoke to a few of them, and of course they're totally stunned because as far as the neighbors are concerned, they knew this house and its occupants to be a gentleman by the name of Mr. Arshad Khan, an Afghan national, who was seldom seen uh, leaving his house. Sometimes he would drive out of the compound, but otherwise uh, there was little that was known uh, of this family or the people who lived in this compound. Uh, Mr. Arshad Khan apparently exchanged pleasantries with people that he would see on the road and so on. But he never invited anyone to his home and never visited anyone, uh, a character who remained by and large quite aloof from the rest of the neighborhood. And of course, let's not forget where this compound has been found. It's uh, in a garrison town. It's next to one of Pakistan's leading um, military uh, encampments. What do the locals seem to say about that fact? Well, that's obviously a huge big uh, embarrassment because this is uh, the main training academy through which uh, people like former President Parvez Musharraf and present Chief of the Army Staff, General Ashfaq Kayani, have both graduated. So it is an embarrassment that in a town of this kind, with a number of military installations, that you suddenly have Osama bin Laden popping up in this way. Farhan Bakari in Abbottabad, thank you very much for joining us. You can find more on this story, of course, at ft.com forward slash bin Laden.